These are the Kong cat tennis balls. These are our cats. But are they attractive enough to play with them? Let's find out. Now, like most cat parents, sometimes you come across the perfect toy. Even years later, your cats love it. And it seems like it was designed for cats by a cat lover. The toy just works. When we first started on our cat journey 13 years ago, this is what we expected. Buy a toy designed for cats, they'll love it, of course they will, it's pretty straightforward. What we didn't expect with these other times, despite best intentions, you come across toys where what the creator had in mind or what the marketing hype led you to believe didn't quite add up. So visually, this toy looks like a miniaturized Honey, I Shrunk My Kids-esque tennis ball. They're relatively small, less than two inches across and almost perfectly round, apart from this rubber tennis ball type texture. Again, similar to a tennis ball, it has the same fibery outside. The ones we bought from Amazon have three different colors, green, purple, and blue, with these distinctive paw prints. Unfortunately, when it comes to smell, unlike other cat toys, it doesn't seem like the creator tried to infuse the material with the smell of catnip, which would have likely helped. Now, when shaking the toy, you can hear the interior bell, which should help keep cats engaged during playtime. Now onto the weight. At first glance, they seem pretty light. However, and I think this is very important, they are significantly heavier than other toys which are designed around the same style of play. Each ball weighs 24 grams, whereas other flick toys like this plastic spring weigh two grams and this Chinese finger trap weigh 1.2 grams. In the top right hand corner is a link to a recent video where we chatted about them. Now, I know that I seem pretty mental talking about such a small weight, but when comparing to the average size of an eight week old kitten, which weighs around 900 grams, it means balls are almost 3% of their entire body weight. For comparison, I weigh 12.5 stone or 80 kilograms. So if this ball was 3% of my weight, it would mean that it would weigh roughly two and a half kilograms. Now, I don't know about you personally, but I wouldn't want a two and a half kilogram tennis ball thrown at me. And I mean, for example, the average basketball weighs between 580 and 620 grams, yet it hurts like hell when you stub your finger on it. Now imagine if that basketball weighed two and a half kg, you'd have no fingers left. Ultimately, the more weight that's added, the harder it is for the toy to be pushed or flicked. Equally, as the ball is rough, the material surface doesn't really allow it to roll very far. For example, here we have a squash ball. It's roughly the same size, same weight, and even costs a similar amount. Yet, when we roll the two balls across the surface, Kong balls hardly move. This means even more effort needs to go into playtime. Now, cats are natural hunters. They love toys that mimic prey behavior, which appeals to their instincts. And toys that bounce unpredictably or can be flicked around can resemble erratic movements of small animals, triggering that hunting instinct. This toy, though, doesn't really do any of that, and it doesn't even bounce on hard flooring. It's a bit like a car. The more weight that gets added, the less movability it gets and the more effort that's required to get it from A to B. A plastic spring is like an old school mini. And these tennis balls, well, they're like a huge SUV mini that aren't really well mini. Anyway, let's see what our cats think. Before we get into the scoring, a reminder to like this video if you're enjoying it so far. Your support makes a massive difference to small content creators like us. Not joking, a single like or even a comment affects quite considerably whether our videos are recommended or not. So thank you so much for, for liking our videos, if you have done. Here are three things that we love about this toy. Number one, unlike other toys, these look all right in the home and don't massively stand out. Number two, the outside is pretty sturdy and thick. I imagine they will stand this test of time pretty well. Number three, it's not the loudest, but I like that they have added a bell to try and engage cats. Okay, on to three things we don't like about the toy. So for number one, it's way too heavy. And given how the marketing on the Amazon page features dogs, I can't help but feel like this toy was originally designed for small dogs rather than cats. Number two, the toy doesn't attract our cats. Not once have they chosen to play with it. Now, adding a bell helped, but that only works if the toy is moving. It feels like they missed a trick not using catnip. Now, number three, the outside material means it picks up dirt pretty easily. Okay, let's score this toy and see how it compares on our toy comparison list. So for styling, overall, I don't mind the styling and it doesn't really stick out like others. So it gets a six out of 10. Engagement. Once playing, our cats will not continue to play with this toy. It's too heavy. It gets a two out of 10. For quality, it's built pretty well and very sturdy. So it gets a nine out of 10. For safety, having rolled this around, our cats do not respond well. And if anything, avoid touching it due to the weight. 
I mean, who wants to have a hard, heavy ball rolled at them? It gets a 5 out of 10. For attraction, our cats are simply not attracted to it, so it gets a 1 out of 10. For cleanliness, the surface picks up dirt pretty easy, although it's got a rubber construction, which means it's pretty easy to clean, so it gets a 6 out of 10. This gives the Kong Tennis Balls a score of 29 out of 60, positioning it at the bottom of our list by a considerable margin. Looking at the reviews on Amazon, it seems like others have had a similar experience. What do you think? Have you bought this toy before? So if you've not bought this toy, should you buy it or maybe save it for later or just simply ignoring it? Well, given the price point of £7 and the significant drawbacks that I've mentioned, I cannot recommend this toy. Just ignore it. Next time we'll be delving into an eyelash comb. I think they're a hidden cat toy. But get subscribed to see whether our boys agree. Thank you for watching. YouTube thinks you'll like this video here. Or alternatively, here's a link to our last video where we showed a puzzle toy that our cats have been playing with.